Hello everyone. In this video, I will perform first online tests of Meta's segment editing model version 2. This model is abbreviated as SAM2 model. In the next tutorial, I will explain how to download the model on a local computer and how to write a Python script in order to use it. So let's immediately start. Okay, but before we start, here is some background information. SAM2 is a segmentation model that can enable a very fast and precise selection of any object in any video or image. You can simply make a few clicks to track an object, or you can create a mask or a rectangle around an object, and the algorithm will detect and track the object. As such, it can have a number of applications in robotics, mechatronics, and control engineering world. Let us try to test this model first online and then in the next video tutorial we will explain how to download it on a local machine and how to use it in Python. Okay, so the first step is to go to this official Meta website and then over here you will need to click on try it now. And go all the way down, accept this license and wait over here. Now, after some time this demo video provided by Meta will be created and you can see it. However, I'm not going to play with this video simply because of the copyright issues. So I will upload my own video. However, you can play with this video and you can follow the same procedure. So I will click here on change video, then I will click on upload and then I will upload my video. Notice that if you want to upload your own video, the size of the video should be less than 70 megabytes. So click over here and wait for the video to upload. The video will be shown over here and you can simply play it by clicking over here. Here it is. This is a video of a coyote that I filmed in Irvine. Now, let's say that I want to track this coyote. So how to do that? Well, to track this coyote, just take a frame where you can clearly see the coyote and then you need to click several times on Coyote. So let's say I only had to click over here two times. Or you can do several times to completely mark the Coyote. Okay, and you can see how the A algorithm is powerful and smart. It can automatically segment Coyote from the surroundings. Okay, the next step is to click here on Track Objects. And you can see that right now, we are tracking our object. You can clearly see that looks it looks like a ghost a little bit, right? Okay, this is already a nice effect. Okay, so let's click on next to see the effects. And over here you have a bunch of effects. You can see that currently this effect is active. This is an overlay effect. So if you click once, you see how the overlay changes. This is super nice and powerful. Now, if you want to cancel this effect, simply click here on original. Let's start with different effects. First of all, if you click here, you can simply erase the complete image from the surroundings. And this is super powerful. This is amazing, actually. Then you can apply a gradient, for example, and you have different levels of gradients. Here they are. Then you can click over here to kind of blur or to pixelate the object. So you can completely, for example, pixelate it. Then you have an overlay that we just explained. Then you can put emoji, which is also a funny thing to do. Then you can do this thing. You can burst, and this is amazing. I like this a lot because coyote is a dangerous animal you can kind of like put a threat or something like that or you can put a spotlight something like this here it is here's our coyote this looks amazing then we can erase with the background you can do something like this this looks also good while the other effect is active or you can put a gradient you can play with this or you can make something like this. This is very hard to watch. Then you can have a black or white or grayscale. Then you can do something like this. You can type your even your text. You can blur. 
you can now fly. This looks really amazing. Let's see what happens if we click on next over here. If you click on next, you can do two things. You can actually download this video. So let's download this video. This shouldn't take long time. And that's it. You can also try another video. I'm not going to try the official videos on the website since I'm a little bit concerned that this video might be copyrighted. Consequently, I just played with my video. And then over here, you can simply download the video. And let's see how the downloaded video looks like. And here is a downloaded video. Notice that the quality of video is not actually great. This is because it's being compressed by Meta's algorithm. That's why it's a good idea to use Python and to do everything on your own local computer. However, generally speaking, this is amazing. This whole program and the whole idea can have a number of applications in robotics. I'm sure that we can actually get the center of this circle, get the coordinates, and then we can track this object in a video, and this can have enormous applications in robotics. Also, we can actually recognize different objects in a video. We can segment them. Based on that, we can adjust the robot and the factor, and we can come and approach to that object. Another thing is also obstacle avoidance, for example, for drones or for similar systems. This is another nice application. But you can also think about other applications, and you can leave your comments in the section below. That is, you can leave your comment in the comment sections. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Another thing that you can do is to click here on get a link and you need to wait for a while and the link will be generated and after that you can simply open a web browser, you can paste your link and here is your video. Of course this video is now stored probably somewhere on a local meta system in a cloud, however I don't think it's public, public and only the person who has this video can see this video. And of course you can do something like this, picture inside of the pictures and you can play with this video or you can even download the video from here by just clicking over here and downloading. And as the final comment in this video tutorial, over here if you go to this web page, you will go to the GitHub page of SAM2. And in the next video tutorial I will explain how to download SAM2 and how to basically use it in Python. It shouldn't be a big problem as long as you have a relatively good GPU. Or actually, maybe even with CPU it might work. We have to test that and to see this. So here are the installation instructions, and here is a simple script that they wrote in order to use this SAM2 algorithm. Okay, so in next video tutorial we will do this, and let's see how far we can go. Okay, thanks for watching.